I'm going to demonstrate how to send a vote link to a group of people. Whenever you're using one of the special links, it always starts with an organization. In this case, I have the Saturday Book Club. You want to make sure that the registration type is set to join organization and that you have an online notify person, which I have. The next thing you want to do is very important before you go to your email, and that is to capture the organization ID number. It's up in the top in that URL. It's 219-1016. Jot that down before you create your email. So in this case, I'm going to go to a tag, and I want to know if any of these people are interested in becoming part of a book club. You can email from a search results, from an organization, from a subgroup inside an organization, or from a tag. Go to the blue toolbar and select individuals. And if you have a template, you want to use that to brand your ministry or just a, a simple uh, empty template will do just fine uh, if it's for something that's kind of outside the norm. Okay, I've chosen my template. My subject is going to be book club. I'm going to click in here and I'm going to put the message that I want them to see and then I'll put the link. Okay, I have the message in the email, in the body of the email. This is where I want them to click. I'm just double clicking to highlight it or you can just drag your mouse across there if you want to highlight more than just one word. But I'm just going to highlight the one word. For all special links, you go to the gold link in the toolbar. Notice the gold link versus the plain link. So this is a special link. When you click on that, it opens a dialog box. And all you have to do is select the type of link you want. In this case, I want a vote link. And then you enter the organization ID. That's why you want to jot that down. The message is what they will see once they click the link. So all they have to do is click the one link and then this will display on the screen. All right, so if they are clicking that, that means they're interested. So it says, great, watch for further information. And the small group will be interested. And I do not want to send a confirmation. I'll let it open in another tab. And there's my vote link. I'm going to click Save. And I'm going to click Send. Normally, you would send yourself a test. But for this demonstration, I'll just click Send. And now we'll see what the email looks like. All right, here's the email that I received. I was part of the group in that tag. When I click here, notice that I have to confirm the response. Once I click the Confirm button, I have that message that I put in the link itself. Great, watch for further information. So that's where that message will display. Now let's see what happened for the organization. I'm back on my organization for the Saturday Book Club. And you see that Ann Carpenter was registered. When I clicked that link, it registered, enrolled her in the organization immediately. I'm going to go to the member type and show you where that subgroup displays. Under groups, I named it interested. And there it is. So she's in the subgroup marked interested. I could have put two vote links in there, one for interested, one for let me think about it, or one for I'm not interested. You can put as many vote links as you want. Just ask people to click one. But notice it did enroll her in the organization immediately, and all she had to do was click one link. That's how simple it is to include a vote link in an email.